What is up everyone, Parox here, and today I'm starting a new series. Um, it's going to be a little less specific and less detailed than my How to Tank series. Basically, I'm just going to talk through uh, what I'm doing in the game, how I arrived at that, um, I guess, decision, and like why, why I'm doing everything, and where I'm repositioning to and things like that. These aren't going to be particularly... Uh, impressive results type games, but I still think there's a lot of good strategy that can be learned from even less stellar games. So I'm on the south spawn of Serene Coast. I'm going to head up to C1, C2. I generally like to go up here in my medium tanks, light tanks. That's pretty much the only two classes of tanks I play, but uh, you can also bring heavy tanks over here. You see in our platoon, Zeroff is coming up this way. And especially heavy tanks with strong turrets can be pretty useful over here. So I think this is the main like starting position on this map that you really want to use. Although uh, it's not too great for uh, weak armored tanks, light tanks, some soft mediums to stick around in because because there's lots of poking out and shooting, pulling back, and just repeating that. So I'm gonna run away here. I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of uh, damage in there. Don't really think I can do much to help the team, so I'm gonna leave and head over to the middle area. It doesn't look like it's guarded too much, so I'm just gonna stick back here a little bit. I don't wanna rush straight in because we don't know what's over in that town area. A lot of their tanks haven't been spotted yet, so I'm just gonna be careful a little bit and stick back. Quetzal's a little less, less careful though. He's just gonna yellow straight in. I decide to go help him, but as soon as I see that those two tanks were spotted over there, I decide to um, to to run away, hide behind the rock. We probably could have taken them out. And never mind, there's an ISU over there too. So I decide to pull around this rock, try to get some shots off on their tanks, and now I decide to pull back. I don't think poking out is going to help me at all. It would just get me shot some more, and I don't really think I would get too much damage off. So you always want to make sure that you're trading damage effectively, meaning like don't poke out and take three hits just to do like two shots of damage. Now I see that T69, and he's just rushing straight for me. Look, looks like he really wants me dead. So you saw me do this in the Type 64 video that I posted the other day. I'm looking forward and backward to keep tabs on where he's at and where I'm driving to make sure I don't run into anything. So now that I'm behind this rock, it doesn't look like he's chasing me much anymore. I'm going to poke out here a little bit just to get a few shots off on the Super Pershing. And I don't want to be uh, too aggressive. Since I'm only on 253 HP, I'm going to pull back, not get too damage hungry, reload. I'm going to run away a little bit and try to reevaluate the situation, think a little bit, about where I want to go and where I can be the most effective. So I'm looking on my mini-map right now. Um, there's an IS-6 down there. I want to go help clean up that flank since our tanks aren't too healthy over there. I want to make sure the IS-6 doesn't take off too much of their health and win that flank. And it's all about um, cleaning up flanks, really. You don't want to... You don't really want to be fighting on multiple fronts. Uh, you don't want to do that um, because, really, it's going to use up too much of your team's resources. And by that I mean your tanks will be too spread out, worrying about too many different tanks. So now that this flank is cleaned up somewhat, there's still a SPIC over there and a T25-2. They could be lurking over here, but I'm not too worried about them. So we don't have to worry about the peninsula anymore. We only really have to focus on the middle of the map and the one, two, three line. So I'm going to reload again and head over back to the middle and try to see where I'm the most effective. So I see the T-34 and the T uh, and the Super Pershing up there. It looks like they're kind of hanging back. I still don't think I will be too effective up there because it's still a lot of poking and shooting. And I know I can't run through the middle because I'll get shot in the side by the T-69, the VK and maybe the ARL. So right now I'm looking for a good position to try to attack from. 
it doesn't look like these rocks in the middle will be too good. I might get trapped here and kind of, it would be hard to escape. I see if I can get some shots on that super pershing, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. And now I see this VK and it looks like he's coming up this way. So I'm going to try to find a position where I can get some good shots onto him. I'm thinking right over here. It looks like he's going to keep driving straight and pull in front of this rock. So I should be able to get some shots off him here. But it doesn't look like I need to. The guys on the 1 2 line finished him off. And you definitely don't want to push up the 4 line like that, that guy did, especially when there's guys on the western flank. So I did roll up there a little bit just to kind of drop my, my spot. I didn't want to be spotted before I moved to another location. I wanted to make it seem. I wanted to make the enemies think that I was still going up to the 1 2 line. So I'm the only one over here currently. I just want to go up here, get some lights on their enemies, and hopefully my team will help me out here. That guy did spot me, so I'm going to use this rock between me and him and try to get some shots off on him. You see me here, I'm auto-aiming, poking out just a little bit, and then I'm tricking him into firing. And that's something you can really do when there's uh, a bit of hard cover between you and the enemy. Just poke out, pull back, try to get them to shoot, and then you have a little bit more time to aim if you need to. So now I'm just going to hang back. We are losing, not losing, we are down four tanks. So I don't want to get too aggressive here. I see the ISU, I take a snapshot, and I'm going to move down uh, in the terrain a little more. That way, if he was going to shoot at me, he would only really have my turret and a little bit of my hull. All right, so now the base is being capped. I'm going to, again, poke up on top of this ridge just to see who it is. And I'm not going to get too aggressive and poke over the ridge all the way. I just want to see what's over there. And I'm not too interested in getting shot right now. So I saw that it was the T-25 too. I'm just going to pull back and try to let my, uh, my FCM and T-34 too do some work. All right, so now I spotted the T-69. This He's the biggest threat right now. I don't have to worry about the T-25-2 because if this T-69 gets away and reloads, he can cause some real damage to our team. So I take him out, and I'm going to reload. And now it's one versus three with this T-25-2. And these guys aren't going to go in. I believe we're all... I'm not sure if I'm a one-shot. I'm not sure if the FCM is a one-shot. I know the T-34-2 is, so he's going to get a sneaky shot off there. And uh, I'm going to come over by this FCM. And see what I did there? I kind of moved the camera so I could see what direction his turret's looking. And you always want to do that before you push around corners aggressively, just to make sure that they're not looking at you or they might be distracted. So I slowly moved around the corner there. Just in case he turned his turret, I'd be able to pull back quickly. But he wasn't, so I finished him off. And now I'm going to use this side of the track, mainly because I know the enemies had control of the eastern side of the track, so I don't want to push down over there. Uh, the enemies might have been able to shoot me, and this guy definitely would have if I chose to drive down the east side of the tracks. And when you're relocating different parts on the map, you always want to make sure well, not always, but generally you want to make sure you're using the area of the map that your team controls. You don't want to be venturing too far into enemy territory. So the main things you should take away from this video was you always want to clean up flanks. If, there's, if your team outnumbers them and they're not really pushing on the enemies, you want to do everything you can to try to clean up that flank quickly. Uh, because once those enemies are gone, your teammates are free to go help the other flank. And also, you never want to go full aggressive mode around the corners, especially if you don't know where the enemy's looking. So you saw me reposition the camera with the T-25-2 there just to make sure his turret was turned away. And then that was the go-ahead for me to go in and get some shots on him. And hopefully you guys can take away some things that I did in this video and uh, apply them to your, your own game to help improve your play. But anyways guys, if you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, I'll see you next time.